What's up everybody? It's Lyle with No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. My last video I vented about being at a shipper for 10 hours or whatever the amount of time was I was at that shipper for uh, those 10 hours. Well, my appointment was for 11 o'clock yesterday. It is now 6.46 in the morning the next day. Last I heard from these people, it was about 10 o'clock last night when they told me to pull into door five. They made sure that I slided or slid my tandems. They made sure of that. And to chalk my wheels. That is the last thing I heard. After not feeling anything getting unloaded, from my trailer I decided to call what I found out was nobody is at this place so really what they wanted me to do and this guy next to me is pull in here so that everything is ready and set to go when their morning crew gets in which apparently is right now so if they don't start unloading this trailer till 7 o'clock, I'm going to assume that I may be sitting here for a good 24 hours. Now, you know, everybody's using these old, set, you know, in the comments. And, I, and trust me, I'm not going to, I'm not uh, trying to be disrespectful in bringing up this comment, but it kind of points to what is entirely wrong with the trucking industry and why the trucking industry is kind of stuck in the 70s now don't get me wrong i do enjoy this job and it's a very stress-free job and you can make pretty good money in it so when people say that's trucking or that's the way it, that's the way it is or you know just any of those kind of things you know that's the problem you know the reason the trucking is still in the 70s you know somebody says well how come we're carrying around these paper bills that's the way it's always been you know, I mean, so those things don't really fly. There's no reason for this to be going on. But if you've watched any of my other videos, first of all, you under, you should understand that it's not about the sitting here overnight part. I don't mind chilling. I'm the one person in the trucking business that takes as much time to chill as possible. Whenever it comes up, you never hear me complain about not getting a load immediately or sitting around too long. Those things never are the problem. It's the disrespect that's going along with this that's the problem. It's the fact that these guys had me sitting all day, then wanted me to back into a door while they went home so I'd, everything would be set up for the, the morning crew. That's what is upsetting me in this. It's not anything other than that. And what the only thing they're concerned about is the stuff that's making their life easier. Make sure you slide those tandems. I mean, I've probably said four sentences to these people. I said, one. I spoke to them one time when I got here and they told me to go wait and they'll give me a call. I didn't even start calling these people until I had been here already eight, nine, eight hours. It was I was here eight hours when I called the first time not one time have I spoke to them in anything other than a professional manner my videos have been what I wanted to say to these people now for anybody that is kind of concerned about or would say you know what would my feelings be first of all I haven't mentioned this company and if to be honest with you at this point Yeah, I'm not even gonna go. I'm not gonna go there on that. But really, that—that's been my issue with this. Is more just the disrespect that goes along with it. And anybody that I know, whether they're with Prime or any other company, I'm gonna alert them to this place because, you know, I should read the reviews on this place. As a matter of fact, you know, what? yeah. As a matter of fact, if I could pull these reviews up really fast. We can kind of go through some of these reviews and add, uh, you know what, I'm going to start pulling these reviews before I even go.
go to some of these little off-brand, well, this isn't actually an off-brand place. This is a place that uh, should have their shit together at this point. I just woke up this morning, so my eyes may not be the best. Worst place I've ever been to. My appointment was for nine. I got to stay five hours before they even began to unload me. I didn't leave until ten hours were done. Won't. Oh, here's here's somebody that says overnight parking, live unload, very respectful crew. Now this happens to be somebody that worked for Prime because they have a picture of their truck in the dock. Now, remember when I was telling you that some of these trucks that came in later were getting unloaded first because they hadn't started receiving their detention yet or their detention wasn't maxed out yet. Uh, wish I could give this place zero stars. This place is unsanitary beyond belief. No toilet for drive no toilet or restroom for drivers pay attention to your paperwork time in and out being the being the most important they will definitely put a different time out than when you actually left anyway my eyes aren't good enough to read all this stuff I'm just telling you that uh They knew that this was going to take this long, but they didn't say anything, and that's really what's pissing me off. So, uh, if anybody has a problem with me making this video, you know what, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, but it is what it is, and uh, this is, you know, I, I just can't concern myself with that if that is going to be an issue, and I just take whatever comes with that, but uh, anyway, I do appreciate you guys allowing me to vent because I certainly can't do it with the client. I am at least that professional when it comes to this where I will not even give them the satisfaction of thinking that I'm upset about this transaction. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Have a good one. Bye.